it's a skirt. And I was so excited to kind of get a mini skirt because I've kind of like strayed away from mini skirts just because there's, they can really be hit or miss and they usually are tight. They usually ride up and you really feel uncomfortable within the skirt. So today I'm going to style it and talk about a little bit of the detailing in it. So again, I have on this base outfit so I can actually like put everything on, but the skirt is this green type color. It's actually like the same green as this jacket. And it has this floral detailing on it for the print. And it's giving me kind of like a vacation-y vibe print. But um, I love, what I would really, really love about this skirt is we have some detailing right here. So it has like these ruffles in it right here. And so I'm gonna put this on and we're gonna start styling it. So one thing that I actually love that Sarah mentioned in her live too, this, this skirt literally is like the perfect link. You don't have any problems like kind of tilting over or anything like that. It's not gonna ride up. It's not gonna be annoying all day. And when I'm walking around campus and I wanna wear a skirt and I don't want it to be down to my ankles, I'm gonna want a skirt that's not gonna kind of mess with the vibe of the day. It's not going to show, or even if I have my book bag on, it's not gonna ride up. So don't worry guys, this is a sports bra. <laughs> not, yeah. Oh, thank you. I, I love it too. Like When I put it on and you were talking on your live about like how you just wanna kind of do this with it, you do, and it like creates a whole waist for you. So. Sometimes in mini skirts, they can be so short that they even lose your waist. So usually, I'm gonna kind of show y'all an example. Mini, mini skirts these days <laughs> be like this short and like yay tight. And you really kind of lose the waist, but with this brand, they are they really know what they're doing when it comes to the female body because they created this band and this band is what is cinching in your waist. It's just a sewn like little band. It's not adjustable or anything, but it's going to like cinch in your waist because it creates almost like a break in the skirt. I don't even know how to really put it, but basically it's just gonna create like a cinched in waist and then flare out towards the bottom. So that's the one thing I do like about this skirt. And so how I wore it today, I wore this dress I keep saying dress. I wore this skirt to English class this week, and I wore it with this shirt. So the reason why I chose this shirt is because I felt like we was going with a theme here. And the theme was, let's add as many ruffles as we can. <laughs> so with this white mock neck type blouse, I wanted to play off of like the frilliness that's in the skirt and I kind of wanted to create almost like a one, I wanted the garment to go seamlessly together basically in those terms. And so since I tucked it in, you can kind of get a good picture of like both garments together. So we got the ruffling right here, we got the ruffling on the sleeves, you do a little twist. And there you go. And it was really a comfortable outfit to wear to class. I didn't like struggle or anything like that. So I, and I got a lot of compliments. So, you know, guys, like, you may want to check out the skirt. <laughs> but I'm going to, I paired it with this necklace just to add something right here. So I chose the white shirt because when you're dealing with a lot of prints and maybe something a little bolder, you wanna kind of pick out the colors in the prints and I noticed there's some white in here. And even if they're really not white in your garment or your printed garment and you're trying to find a solid color to go with it, white is always your best bet because it's almost like a base color. White goes with almost everything, so it's hard to get it wrong right there. So I really wanted to kind of create like a professional look too. And then I, so I added this white shirt. So if I can put on this necklace, I put this necklace on with it, and it's like a, it's like a half pearl. It looks like kind of sea pearls, and then a half chain. And I showed more of the chain because this white is gonna 
barely even show in this blouse because it's of the white top. So I kind of put it more towards the chain side. And that's the, another thing I like about this necklace is you can kind of switch up the vibes if you want to. They have so many necklace, necklaces like this on Verish. I'm actually presenting one in my next live show. So if you want to check that out, stay tuned. And I've also presented these in my live show in the past, back, back in the day. And it's these emerald earrings. They're the same color green as in the skirt, so I thought it would be a cute fit. We threw these on, and we threw on some white Air Force Ones. Yes, I was not about to walk around campus in heels, but for this show, we're throwing on some white heels. I'm kind of glad I thought about this idea. I, um... I'm not a person who wears a lot of biker shorts, but I thought I would need them as basics in my wardrobe, and I'm glad I got it because now I can try on these bikers for y'all. So here are the white meals I have right here. Pretty basic, and I threw it, what I threw on was my Air Force Ones. Well, they're not even really Air Force Ones. There's some white Nike shoe. You tell. <laughs> I was just trying to get across campus without taking the bus. So this is kind of the final look we got going on here. I also feel like this skirt kind of gives you body yaddy. I feel more like a um, very straight and kind of like no hips. But when I put this on, I feel like I got hips for days. <laughs> and it's flattering. It suits you, you know. So, moving on to the next item in which we have some mad detailing with is this jacket. Actually, I want to show you the jeans I got from this label. So, I said in my preview video, I was like, we're not going to do minuscule details, but the 